What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and little Ari here. Hi, little Ari. Tell them what we're going to do today. Something with my zoo world? Oh, you're very close. You might be on point. Something with your zoo world. So right now, me and Ari are inside the Lego room. And we're working on zoo world. Oh, let's see a little little hint over here. You guys can see a little brief glimpse. We're trying to get pieces out, sort through pieces. But you need something. You're going to need a lot of people. You're going to need a lot of animals. You're going to need a lot of stuff to dress up your zoo world. So I have a surprise for you. A big surprise for you. You do? Yeah, you gotta come here. Alright, sit down. You sit down. Ari has no idea. I think she has a hint, because I or a little hint from the last video. I think she kinda knows, but you have no idea. Trust me, you have no idea. Alright, close your eyes. You gotta close your eyes. Alright, guys, look, it's over here. <laughs> so look at all these mini figures, guys. See all these mini figures? All these mini figures all over here. Okay, well I went through them and put together. Da -da -da. Okay. All right, are you ready? And don't look yet. Don't look yet. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Open. Blind bags. Yeah. <laughs> Ari loves putting together all the minifigures. You definitely don't know what's in these. I stayed up all night and I was feeling through all those bags. <laughs> Guys, it took me forever. To feel every single minifigure. You and hide in I pulled out. Okay, so I pulled out what I think would help you for your zoo world. <laughs> I think what you have here might help. I already forgot what some of these were. We got a ton. There's like 22, I believe. I might have lost count. Yeah. There's like 22 minifigures all from different series. We're going to open one by one. You can just pick whoever you want. And then we're going to crack them all open and see if they're going to even help you with Zoo World. What if I misfelt some of them, though? If that's a huge possibility. And it could totally be a wrong one that you don't even need. It could be a rare one that we could sell. And we could make a lot of money. And we could retire. And open a real Zoo World. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? All right. Where to begin? Check out all the minifigures. We got ones from Series 19. From Series 24. What's the oldest one? 19? Did I think we have some? Yeah, it might be. Oh, actually, look at this one. This one's from Series 17. That one's old, too. Are you going to start with this one? The oldest one? All right, guys. It's time to crack it open. Let's do the magic. Shake it up for good luck. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think? I'll go ahead and put a post right here. You guys can see all the different minifigures that were in this wave. Which one of these... Do you think is going to help Ari? The, um, pirate. The pirate? Yeah. The pi You want a pirate for your zoo? All right, guys, let's snip it open. We're about I to find out. Leave your guesses down below. Everyone leave your guesses. We're going to play a game. Try to see if you're right for every minifigure okay. series. All right, which one's going to help you? Go ahead, dump it out. Who is it? <laughs> dump it out, dump it out. Stitch! Oh, we got Stitch! I thought Stitch would be a perfect addition. What if he got captured and he was just thrown inside your zoo world for a little bit? You could put him inside of an exhibit if you want. You can see all the detailing on his back with his tail. He is technically an animal, right? Or an alien? What would you consider him, guys? Does he count? Well, since she, um, that little girl called him a dog, so I'll say he's a dog. <laughs> okay, so he's an animal. Ari with technicality on me right there. He's technically a dog, according to Lilo. So that's cool. He might make an appearance inside there. Or we could just have him walking around as a little Easter egg. Who knows? But this is a cool one to add to the collection. Yay! Time for the next one. Who are you going to go for, Ari? This one. Oh, she's going for all the old ones. You know, the rare ones might be in there. Shake it for good luck. Shake it. And plus, that's also not just for good luck. It's also so I don't rip through the people's capes and stuff <laughs> when I crack this open. All right, guys, who's it going to be? We're going to go ahead and put on the post right now. Oh, can you see all the different ones? Which one do you think would help Ari? Oh, I wish I had tons of extras of all these different sets so I could give her everybody she needs. We're going to have to make a list of who you're missing. Who do you guys think? Place your guess. Who do you Wait, think it is? I see the characters and let me guess. I'm thinking it's the corn. The corn? Oh, you could sell corn down at the zoo. Have a little corn, man. Go ahead and dump it. Let's see who it is. 
And it's oh the vet. Here she is. This one's gonna go so perfect for Zoo World because you need a vet, someone to help take care of the animals, and someone might be already working on that. Hit hit. But and then it comes with a little tiny bunny. Oh, is the bunny sick or did she heal the bunny? And look, she has her little ID tag there. Her little step is that a stethoscope? I don't know what it's called. And you can see the little back print right here. She's all dressed up with her gloves on so she can take care of all the animals. Oh, she's gonna go super great inside Zoo World. We just got done opening the oldest series. Where do you want to go? This one I think we have the most of. Series 19 looks like it might have been a great series for animals and stuff. What do you think? Where do you want to go next? I think I want to do this one. Oh, that was the holiday Christmas one. That one's all Christmas. What could possibly be in there? Check it out on the screen now, guys. Mm, I would say probably this guy. You think a werewolf? Check it up for good luck. Let's see, who's it going to be? Oh, you guys had your time to guess. Place your guess. There's still two more of these. All right, go ahead and dump it out. Oh, we pulled the deer. Now you can have a little deer walking around as a mascot. It's got the little bell on her neck. Is it her? It's a boy or girl? It's a girl. I it's think. a girl. And then you can see on the back. He's got a little fuzzy tail and then the little necklace of the collar going around. And then, check this out. You guys have little treats. There's some little gingerbread treats. So that can go maybe at the little gift shop. People could buy some gingerbread treats. But this one's going to be a nice addition to Zoo World. <laughs> All the 23s it is. She went with the next one. All right, snip it. Let's snip it. Yep, snip, snip. Your first initial guess was a werewolf. Would there be a werewolf at the zoo? Uh, probably. Not very sure. Uh, let's see. See how close you are. <laughs> Who's it going to be? I'm not sure. We're going to see. <laughs> These are so exciting to open. And you were right. Oh, look who it is. The wolf. And here we have the big bad wolf. Oh, with little overalls all shredded like as if he just transformed. And he's got a bag. What's inside the bag, you think, Ari? Money. Money. <laughs> Stealing the people's money. On the back, you can see the cool little tail. This is like the tail they use on Rocket Raccoon. And his overalls, the printing looks cool. You should see how hairy he is. But this is going to be a cool character to walk around and take photo ops and maybe be like that little evil character that does some very, very naughty things around the park. This is going to be cool. Maybe he eats your food. <laughs> that would suck. Or eat you. Oh, no. That would be horrible. <laughs> number five i know exactly who this is do you think you know i know yeah. i know distinctly now who this one is you guys should be able to guess this one at home did you see there it is do you see you guys should be able to guess you have you have like five seconds until he dumps it out to guess go ahead oh what's it gonna be what's it gonna be oh <laughs> that should give it away right there Gobble, gobble. Not only is this a great character to add, to just have a little gobble, gobble character going around, it's cool the amount of detail on this figure. All the feathers, look at the arms. You can see that it has like a cool little feather. Feathers in the back. And then even on the belt itself, you see the little belt? Mm -hmm. It is so cool with the pumpkin too. He's happy. I wouldn't be happy if they're trying to eat me. <laughs> gobble, gobble. He's going to be cool. Is there any back printing? Look at the tail, the feather, and the details in this. This is a cool character to add. Take some pictures with in the park. <laughs> that clears up that entire series. Which one you want to now next? It's totally up to you. I was thinking um, to skip and go to this one. You want to go to the blue ones? Which one was that one? <laughs> series 22? This one had some really good minifigures. Oh, this one has some good animals. It has the little bard for the medieval. Oh, a chili pepper? There's some cool ones. Who do you guys think it's going to be? Take your guess. Hurry up. This one feels fat. It has a lot of air inside. All right. Crack it open. You guys have your time to guess. Put it in the comments down below. And let's see if you're right. What if it's an alien? You can have aliens in your park. And it's... Oh! And here we have the little girl feeding the little pony. These are going to be cute to have baby animals. If we could collect all these little baby animals... People are going to drive from all over to come to Zoo World and see it. Yeah, they're going to drive to see all the little baby pets. 
That is super, super cute, super cool. She's feeding him so we can have maybe a little feeding area or a place to buy carrots and you could feed them. But this is going to look great. You can see even the girl is going to look cool inside with her little beanie. She's all dressed up for the occasion to get down and dirty feeding all these cute little animals. Can't wait to put this horse next to the big horses to see how beautiful it looks. Oh no, Ari. This is the last Series 22 we have. And there's some good ones in here. We only got one bag left. Oh, you guys can leave your guests now. Oh, who's it going to be? I, I remember now. I remember who it is. Let's see, Ari. You're about to find out. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this. You got a raccoon that you can have walking around. And imagine if this raccoon is actually a worker. And she's going around picking up the trash. And that's her job to clear the bins. Would you get hired there dressed like a raccoon cleaning the, the dumpsters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might be hot though, but this would be cool that people could take pictures with the raccoon or she could be cleaning the dumpsters, yeah. who knows, all the little trash cans. But this is a, such a cool print. I like the detail on the eyes, the little nose, and then the little hair. This looks like whiskers coming out the side. How The same tail piece that we've seen, that thing works for yeah. so many things. It actually comes with a little tiny wig, so in case you want to pop her hair off, and she could go on break. She's yeah. tired of picking up all the trash. Hopefully we don't have that dirty of a park. But then she's a little tiny old lady working to get some money picking up trash around the park. <laughs> okay, we have a cool amount of figures already, but there's still more. We're not even halfway done yet. What series do you want to go with most? This one has the most. Then I say followed by... How many are there? There's three of those. Oh, and then there's like five of these. So which one do you want? We got the littlest, middle, and the most. I'll go with the littlest. The littlest? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's going to take us to series 24. Shake it for good luck. Shake it. All right, guys. <laughs> I didn't say kill the little minifigure inside. I said shake it. Check on the screen now. You guys place your guesses right now. We have a total of three bags. There's three possibilities. They could be doubles. I honestly don't remember. I was up so late last night. I was half a zombie filling these bags. My fingers hurt so bad from filling all the bags. I wish I would have labeled them back in the day when I first got them. All right, but here we go. Who's it going to be? Whoa. Oh, I feel like we're going to need a thousand of this minifigure. It has the perfect printies. The little cargo shorts. And the little name badge along with the hat. If only the hat was separate and not molded as one piece. All of our workers are going to look like clones. But this is the perfect worker to have walking around. It looks like a little tour guide. And that's his name. He's like, hi, my name's Kevin. Welcome to the Koala Show. This is a perfect minifigure to attract all the guests. I love koalas. They don't do much. No. They're, like, they're like me. They don't do much. <laughs> they just sit around and hang in trees like they, all day, just like me. But they're going to be so cute. We need definitely, we need more of these. I don't even mind having more of these just to make more employees. <laughs> Number two of Series 24. This one's one of the more recent ones. So I bet you a lot of you guys watching at home probably have these minifigures you're about to see. Some of the older ones, it might be a little harder to get. I want to go back and get all of them. We should do that. Smash the like right now if you guys want us to go back and get all of them. Okay, there you go, Ari. Who's this going to be? And it's... What? That? <gasps> and this is beyond perfect. We had Kevin. This is his twin brother, uh, Bob. We'll call him Bob, who's now left-handed and holds the koala with his left hand. And this is a perfect time to show you the back, which I forgot on the other one. It has a little rescue shirt. I love this print. I want more. We need Kevin, Bob, Jim, Stuart, <laughs> Tim. What are all the little names? <laughs> I'm naming minions now. <laughs> but this is a cool minifigure. Definitely one of the most utilized ones that we've come across so far. <laughs> and it's down to the final 24. Yes, yes. Shake it. Kill the little minifigure inside. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That was really dead. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear that smack? Oh, this poor minifigure is gone. Oh, what was in this one? <laughs> I don't even know, but I'm scared to know. It's probably all broken into pieces. Pieces of pieces. Who's it gonna be? 
And oh, oh didn't see that one coming. Oh. Here's our little buddy T Rex. I thought it would be so cool to have a little extinct exhibit. So if you want to have him going around taking pictures, because I don't think we're gonna have live dinosaurs, are we? Are we putting live dinosaurs? Probably. Oh man, they, they found a way to clone them and bring them back in Jurassic World. It. I don't know if we're going to that extent yet, but who knows? We our imagination might overtake us. But he's gonna be cool to take pictures with the people learning about all the extinct dinosaurs in the exhibit. And who knows? They might come back from the extinction era. <laughs> who knows? That leaves us with only two series left, but they are the biggest majority of the collection. We're having a cool little army going on right now. We're about almost halfway. One more ought to do it. Which set do you want to go with? The one we have the most of or the middle one? Which one's going to have better minifigures? I want to do two at a time. Oh, one of each? We're going crazy. Whatever you want. Two at a time? Mm-hmm. She's going one from each. Uh-oh. <laughs> Check it for good luck. You guys can see. We got the Series 21 and the Series 19 on the screen right now. You can see that's a lot of minifigures to choose from. There's a lot of cool choices and selections and details that could be used in a zoo. Do you guys see it? Oh, do you guys see it? I see a lot of them. We're going to do two at a time now. The pieces are going to get all mixed up. Who knows? But you guys can place your guests right now. All right, here you go. I guess you can dump them separately. Make two separate piles. Who we got first? And it's... Ooh, that's a good one. And then dump this one. Who's it going to be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is that? Who is that? Here we have who probably has the most important job of the zoo. What happens when you have a lot of animals in the zoo? They poop. <laughs> you get a lot of poop. This girl is just going. She's a trooper. She's just picking it up by hand. She's had enough. This girl needs a raise. She's taking care of two dogs. I thought it would be kind of cool if maybe to incorporate the dogs. We could have maybe like a little veterinarian area slash dog adoption and cat adoption. So she could serve two jobs. She takes care of the pets. She helps with the adoption progress and stuff. She's got that same little hat. One little dog fell to his death right now. We get the little paw print that also matches the rescue guy one. Kevin and Bob's and Jim's and Stewart's. So that would be kind of cool. She'll fit in. She's a perfect worker who definitely needs a raise. Look at this. Her overalls are absolutely spick and clean. Her hands are dirty. Someone give her a raise quick. And then you can't forget the wiener dog. And this one is, do you guys know what kind of dog that is? I want to say it's like a little bulldog. When I was little, I actually had... And he keeps dying. I caught him that time. We actually had a wiener dog. These are dachshunds. We had a wiener dog. His name was Winky Dinky. And we lived in an apartment building. And what happened? Sad story. One of our neighbors, they opened up the gate. And our dachshund had ran out the door. And he ran away. And we didn't know. So goodbye, Winky Dinky. I, I hope to meet you again one day, Winky Dinky. But you're there in spirit in our Lego world. So this is officially Winky Dinky, everybody. <laughs> Can't forget the second one you opened. We have, it was a beekeeper. So I saw this one and I was like, wait a minute. I remember they make little tiny bees. They're like one by ones. They're little tiny dots. So he would be perfect working there. He's the one that draws out all the honey. And maybe he like sprays. I don't What do they do with the spray? I don't know what beekeepers I don't know, do. I don't know if that's a drink. <laughs> He's making a little honey drink. But they could sell fresh honey at the store. Like a little farmer's market. And he's dirty. He's more dirtier than the poop cleaning girl. But that's okay. Because you can just lick all the honey off your suit <laughs> when you're done. He's got a little beehive little symbol on the corner of his suit. He's got all these little wrinkles. He's working hard. I like how you can see a little smoky screen opaque to the little screen visor. Which kind of makes it look really realistic. And he's really cool to add as a little cool detail in the zoo. All right, go ahead. Grab your two again. Oh, you're, oh, you're going two of those this time? Okay, shake them up for good luck. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you smashed those four minifigures. All right, guys, take your guess now. She's opening two Series 21. This one feels fat, really puffy. It's protruding through the side. Which one could that be? I've honestly forgotten. And even if I remembered, I don't know the order that I even hung these up on the little thing. Again, I was a zombie last night. Whew. All right. Here we go. What if they're both the same? Yeah. Here you go. Who could they be? Not sure. First one is. Whoa! 
A dolphin. All right, no wonder why it was so puffy. And the next one is... The next one's gonna be... And this one is probably, I want to say, the most bang for your buck. There's so many cool details on this thing. Where to begin? So you got a little oar. She could be like the surfer girl that goes around. Maybe she teaches the dolphin. She's a trainer. Or maybe she's just like a stunt woman that does like tricks and stuff in front of the tanks for people or in the tanks. But she has a little swirl on her head. I don't know what that is. I don't know what swirl is. It's a little whirly whirl. She has a very, very awesome printing of dolphins. So eye-catching and eye-popping with those colors. She's got some little shorts, some board shorts. Then she has a cool little life jacket on the back. I like this newer style life jacket, uh, jacket with all the little straps on it. Then there's a dolphin. You need dolphins if you're going to have like an aquarium in your zoo. So this is a cool minifigure. And these are only like $5. You get like the surfboard and the paddle and all the little accessories and the dolphin. Just, just that alone. That's so cool. The dolphin is worth it. But she's going to look so cool in the tanks inside the park. <laughs> and I was wondering who this guy was. And now I see it's the little crustacean with the castaway. <laughs> so this is going to look good inside the tank. Where could we put him? He'll go cool inside little crustaceans with lobsters and crabs. You can see all the little detail on the little eyes of the crustaceans. Cool with the little shell. It's a little sea shellfish. What do we have here, though? I'm going to say he's probably SeaWorld's most dedicated. You following me? He's the most <laughs> dedicated customer. He brought his season pass inside a bottle. And he lives inside the park. <laughs> he's collected souvenirs through the years he wears the same clothes he just lives in the park he's got a tattoo of one of his favorite displays there's a little anchor that's going to be on display he's got no shirt <laughs> who knows what happened he spilled some pizza on it and took it off but he's been in the park since day one with his season pass and he loves seashells and all the little crustaceans so he's going to be there every day 24 7 when you see him in sea world in our little zoo world display And now we have two Series 19s. All right. Whoa, I can feel the pieces way up there. I would have snipped those. That's why before you open these, shake them good. Not just for good luck, but so the pieces go down to the bottom. I was about to cut something if I didn't shake it. We got two of them here. You can feel all the air just come out when you when you um, cut it. Let's see who these are going to be. You guys have a chance to guess. Series 19. Who's in this one? And it's... No one. Oh, the little shower man. And what's this one? Why would there be a shower man? And the next one's gonna be... Whoa! Oh! The little flamingo bird. This one we definitely needed. It's straight up an animal that would be perfect inside of Zoo World. And then check out this lady. She's even got like little cheetah print pants. So she's gonna look cool. She's walking around the park. Maybe your hands turned green from feeding all the animals. She's been in that park for 70 years straight, feeding all these animals since they were babies. And now they're full-grown flamingos. She definitely loves flowers and animals. She's going to be our number one fan there at the park. With the cool flamingo, check out the detail on him. Is he standing on one leg, two legs? And then you can see the little arch of the neck. Is this This is rubber. Oh, it's rubber. You should feel it. Feel it. It's not pla. I thought it was gonna be plastic, so it has. It's like a little pliable. And bend its neck. <laughs> <laughs> Break it it's off. eating the food. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> but this is gonna be a cool little animal to add into the little zoo world. <laughs> now, why would we have a guy wearing only half his clothes? Oh no, it's because he comes with a little ducky, of course. This little duck is going to go cool. I don't know if there's any other versions of, of ways of getting the green duck. I know there's a brown duck. I know there's a yellow one. Is there a blue one? If you guys know all the variants. You guys can start leaving your comments down below. What are some cool animals to add? Especially if there's variants of these. But he was so excited. He ran out of his house when he heard the grand opening of Zoo World. He ran out of his house and brought his duck. And his little ducky little apron or his towel... Because he wanted to go see the ducks. And when he got there, he realized, oh, no, they're not going to let me in because I don't got my clothes. <laughs> 
But he's going to go cool. I don't know where he's going to be. I, we might just have to throw him in the bathroom if we're going to use him. Because you cannot walk around a theme park looking like that. Two more 19s ready to go. We're getting close. There's five left. After this, there's only going to be three left. We're going to go ahead and open up two more of these bad boys together. Uh-oh. More shower cap, guys? <laughs> more half little clothes people running around? I hope not. Who do we got? Let's dump them at the same time. You ready? Same time. Go. Go! Oh! <laughs> How exciting is that to have another flamingo, Ari? Now that she has a twin sister that's also there feeding all the animals for the last 70 years. But we have another flamingo to add, so that's cool. The more animals, the better. <laughs> Ari was confused about this one, the pizza man. She's like, why would there be a pizza man? Well, what do people need to do if they're going to stay at the zoo? Eat pizza? That, that, that's what I would stay for, to eat the pizza. <laughs> they got to have food. And I figured when I felt this poly bag, I was like, oh, you know what? We need to add a pizza joint inside the spot for the Sea World or for the Zoo World. Sorry, I keep saying Sea World, but he would be the perfect mascot to advertise. Look at this. A slice of pizza, $1. Count me in. And then a bag of fries for only $1. This is the best Zoo World ever. And then I'll, I'll, I'll even eat him if I'm still hungry. He's looking delicious with his little checkered pants. His huge pepperoni head with his little, this perfectly baked crust and cheese. And delicious marinara and smelling all fresh and the dough's all soft and how. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't have that one no more. Down to an uneven number. We got three. There's one bag left of that series and then two left of series 21. Which one do you want to go with? Wait a minute. There's another one. I've miscounted this whole time. We got two and two. Yay! Series 21 it is. We got these are the last two though now. I had totally miscounted. So we got two left for series 21 and final two for 19. All right, here you go. You want to dump them both? There you go. Oh, who's these gonna be? Not sure. Oh, that one's a cool one. I, you guys can definitely guess who that one is. Look at little baby ladybugs rolling around everywhere. I know there's bumblebees like that. And then this one's gonna be. And we'll go with the little doggy first. Hey there, little doggy. So if we have a little pet adoption agency, he could be like maybe someone that stands outside to get customers to come in, huh? And want to adopt the little pets, show them how friendly they can be. And he can course the little dogs to come and see the people with the waving a little bone. Yeah. He's got his little scarf. And then again, I don't know what kind of dogs. I don't know my breed of dogs too well. If you guys could put in the comment, what is that? A pug maybe? Probably. I guess. I guess so. He's got a little feet printing. And then on the back? He's even got a little tail and then the rest of his little bandana scarf. So that is super cool. He's going to look cool standing outside the pet adoption agency. <laughs> How cool is that? That you get an extra ladybug inside the bag to go with the ladybug. The giant ladybug. She could be like a little meet and greeter that actually holds real ladybugs. And she shows them to the people. Maybe she's telling like the history of ladybugs and teaching kids. She could be like a field trip tour guide. Telling everybody about all the little animals and the kids. Ladybugs are friendly. Have you ever held a ladybug? You know it's good. I held one um, at school. It landed on you? Or did you pick it up? Um, I found it on the ground and then I uh, um, put it on my hand and then it was crawling. Oh, okay. they say if a ladybug lands on you. That's what they say. But you it's be, good luck. You got to be careful because it might pee on you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, one time I... This I, will pee on you? I hold on an orange one and it peed on me. Ugh, I've never seen Ladybug pee. That is so <laughs> nasty. Ugh, I don't even want to hold this little bitty finger anymore. <laughs> but she's cool. She has all the little polka dot printings that match just well with this. She's got her little face painted, her little cheeks rosy red. Again, this is like a little rubber piece. I thought it was plastic. So you could actually kind of like bend the ears. It's fun to play with. It goes like this. This is <laughs> when she says hi to hey, la, 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 la. <laughs> pretty cool. And then on the back, she has a very hard plastic little wings. Reminds me of the little ladybug from Bugs Life. 
So that's very cool. I like this mini figure. The just the color of it pops and it's gonna look super stupendous inside the park. Yeah. No, the moment we've been dreading, Ari. There's only two left. No, that whole thing was filled with so many beautiful, wonderful Yay. mini figures. I don't want it to end. There's two left. Has to end sometime. These are yours. Shake them for good luck. Hopefully they're the best ever. But yeah, if you guys know some minifigures that would be super great or some sets that would be super great to get some zoo figures, leave your comments down below. I would love to read the comments and check those out and find out what other minifigures to get. Again, I didn't go out and buy these. It's just I had these extra. And Ari said she wanted to do so. I went through my collection to see what I had extra. All of these were just going to sit there. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. Maybe trade them later. So I didn't buy these specifically for the idea of the zoo. But now that you Ari has it in mind. You want me to open one? Yeah. Yay, I get to enjoy it. Let's see. Same time? Yeah. What are they going to be? Go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And we're going with the fox first. This one is going to look amazing with the bright orange colors. Look, she's licking her chops because she's going around chasing all the chickens to throw them inside her little bag. So this is like another little naughty mascot that can go around and kind of play like a little evil villain kind of role inside the park. And then again, we have that same tail. It works in so many different ways. And then this almost looks like the raccoon print. I want to say it's almost the same head. So it's cool that they were able to utilize that head and it makes it look totally different. They used it all over again. And the printing of the little fur patch and little feet and then you get a chicken you're definitely gonna need chickens we have a little farm area so this is a cool one to add i'm glad i had this minifigure to give you <laughs> with only one spot left who better to give it to than this guy look at his big old face i can't remember his name i know my history but i forget my history i know he's Let's from johnny i think He's from like am the um jungle theme. Let's call him Bobby. Bobby, okay, Bobby Johnny Thunder. Thunder. He's gonna be coming back, I believe, in an all new series what? of uh, sets coming out later. So it's cool to have him because he's like an explorer, <laughs> a wilderness explorer. So maybe he's come to explore our zoo and look for wild animals in the wild. <laughs> and then we have the little chameleon. So he found a super rare striped little chameleon. Oh, is the chameleon going to hide from him or does the chameleon like him? I think he likes him. And then maybe he could apply and get a job as a tour guide. He looks perfect. He's already dressed for the job with his little pack and everything. Yeah. He could have snacks to give to everybody to hand to the animals. And he could give you the history. He could because... probably use that for the poop. <laughs> <laughs> because he knows so much about animals. Definitely he knows more than I do. He would be perfect as a tour guide. So please, little Johnny, Bobby, put in your application and you're hired. Let's put him in the final spot. And that completes all of the minifigures we just got. You excited? Oh my gosh, you get to play with all these now. We just added a total of 22. We have 5, 10, 15, 22. I had completely lost count earlier. All of these figures will be going into the zoo. It's going to look crazy. I don't know about this guy, though. I don't know. He might have gotten kicked out of the park. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are these super cool? Do you want us to see... Do you want us to open up more minifigures? I definitely need to go back and look at the history of all the series and find out what other mascots there were, what other, which other ones came with animals. If you guys know, definitely what should they do? Uh, like? <laughs> definitely like the video. That'd be awesome. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Do that too. That would tremendously help us. And we'll do, and do what? Yeah, hit the like and pound it. If you guys could leave your comments down below, that would be so amazing. Let us know what minifigures we should add. And from other sets, too. Ari's already off to play. But all of these are yours, Ari. Are you excited? Yeah. What was your guys' favorite minifigure from this? What do you think is going to be the perfect addition to the zoo? And which one do you think is your favorite? Put your comments down below. Ari, right, you got to pick your favorite right now. Who's your favorite one out of this whole video? This one. Which one? The ladybug? Yeah. And the reindeer? Yes. Oh, I'm leaning more towards... Uh, I want to say him. Because mm -hmm. not only does he add like the whole worker experience, 
The koalas are super cool. So I don't know. There's so many amazing minifigures to choose from. She's the most important one. She cleans up all the poop, so she wins. All right. But you guys definitely got to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in another video real soon. We love each and every single one of you. Bye, Bye everybody.